This is our x-axis, which is the output. This is our y-axis, which is average cost. And this is our long run average total cost, which has a U-shaped. Here we have the minimum long run average total cost. So at this point, we'll have our Q star, which means this will be our optimum quantity, which we call it our minimum efficient scale, MES. Therefore, if we look at the first part of the curve where our long run average total cost is downward slope, it's called economies of scale. It has a synonymous, which is called increasing return to scale. So what does it mean? It means that if quantity increases, our average total cost will be lower. And this is the idea about economies of scale, which means some countries, they benefit from economies of scale, such as China, they produce in large volume. Consequently, their average total cost decreases. So they benefit from economies of scale. So they should keep increasing until they reach the minimum efficient scale. Then if we look at the other side, we have these economies of scale. It's synonymous is decreasing return to scale, which means if we increase quantity, our average total cost will be higher. And that's why the long run average total cost is upward sloped. Therefore, in this case, we should decrease the quantity until we reach our minimum efficient scale. Therefore, at MES, we have constant return to scale, which means this will be our optimum level of output because at this point we have our lowest average total cost.